All right, folks, Monday morning race from behind the wheel of the Gearhead Coffee Street Stocker, Lanier Speedway, one that is famed in my backyard of where I grew up in Anderson, South Carolina. This was a famed track, a lot of goodies dash racing here, some great late model racing. We're going street stock racing, uh, did not qualify, wanted to start in the back. I've never been here, wanted to figure it out, and here we are. About a 20 car field, maybe 21 cars. I'm sure it's going to be a wild one. I actually have a buddy of mine in the field, Nick Nick Kellogg. Oh wow, I actually have a yellow. That's that's cool. That's but the first time I ever had a yellow. It kind of took me by surprise. But uh, Nick Kellogg is in the field. Nick Kellogg has a bad fast Malibu wagon that he no prep drag races. And if this is the first time that you have stumbled across the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel, understand that this channel is way more than iRacing. I film live events. I have a live drag racing talk show on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. And I've had Nick on my show talking about his bad, fast Malibu orange wagon that he takes across the eastern seaboard and races and races well in the no prep scene. So... He's ahead of me. Oh, no, he's actually behind me now. He is the number 19 car, and he's in 18th position. He actually asked me before the race started, hey, what's the wrecking like here? I'm like, I don't know, man, LOL. I've never been here before in a street stalker. I don't know how this is going to go. As you can notice, though, there are yellows now. I have advanced. I think I have a C-class license on the oval. So I actually get to experience yellows, and hopefully we can race, and we can not have too many yellows for 70 laps. I did not realize it was 70 laps. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Well, one to go behind the two. Double file once again to the inside. Go ahead and downshift. Maybe we get a little bit better start. Three wide for a little while there. That was that was touch and go. Again, I've never raced here, so I don't know what to expect in a street stalker. Rear end coming out on me. We got cars getting out of the groove. Fast pace. A lot of cars on the track. Looks like we're going to get underneath the one here. He's going to shut the door on me. Liking this STP car in front of me. Looks really good. In any of these races I've come to learn, just keep your nose clean for one, and you can move forward. We're sitting in 12th place, and we started in the back. So we are moving ahead. Keep the nose clean. Let attrition do its thing. It's a long race, 70 laps. don't know what a fast pace around here is in a street stalker. Jumped in, no practice, messed up qualifying. Here I am trying to survive for 70 laps. All right, we got another caution. So 
So folks, look, Gearhead Coffee, promo code MMR10. You get 10% off your purchase. Stellar coffee. It is the coffee for you as a gearhead, at a as a motorhead, motorsports fan. It's all themed out in motorsports and gearhead type of themes. For example, they got the big block bl blend. They've got the stroker blend. There's a two-stroke blend. I like their decaf. It's unleaded. I think that's pretty cool. But folks, great coffee. Not only is it themed right, but it is enjoyable, well done, well crafted coffee. So check out gearheadcoffee.com, purchase some coffee, use promo code MMR10 for 10% off. I don't off. think I've ever had to turn a wheel so far to make a car turn. It's interesting. Right I've This is the first time I've had cautions. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to have some cautions. And we had some laps turned there. I just hope it isn't a caution fest. Those are boring. Those are boring. For you as a viewer, for me, behind the wheel. Looks like we're coming to lap 20. Looks like they're going to put me to the outside. Still sitting in... 12th position. get to the inside, so we're going to lose some spots here. That's short track racing for sure. Got turned there. At least we got turned early. We've got several laps ahead of us. See what we can do. Hey, we're back here with our friend Nick. I don't know what the guy behind me was thinking. Maybe he felt that I checked up or something. I don't know. But I was racing my line and he, he just bumped me. And in these cars, you're turning, it gets you very loose. And I just put the brakes on, and that kept me in front of him, and he just pushed me down the front stretch. Hopefully the tires are not too bad, we'll see. The car is probably in okay shape. Right behind Nick, pretty cool. Starting out on the outside again. Now we're clear to the inside. Maybe we can start working up now. Hey, look at Nick slicing and dicing, making some moves up there. Guys, turned around, wrecking already. 
So, gained a couple of spots, I think. I feel like it's going to be a caution fest. Man. Hey, Canadian. I actually had a Canadian drag racing promoter, Ian Hill, on my live drag racing talk show between the slicks here recently. They love their racing up in Canada. The NASCAR Pinties series, great series. They were running dirt before NASCAR decided to do it. By the way, check out the NASCAR Mexico series. Some good racing down there, too. I just feel like if you're going to be number 21, you should have to run a Wood Brothers theme. You should have to. Oh, they are already folding it up. Looks like we're going to be in about 10th position after all of that. I really hope we get some racing in. This is not that enjoyable when it's caution, caution, caution. You got to let guys have room. These cars are so loose when you bump them. And most guys just don't know how to give a nudge. I'm not even saying I understand how to give a nudge and move someone out of the way if they deserve it and they need it. But someone bumps, someone sticks their nose somewhere where they shouldn't. And you have this. Running around under caution. We're coming to lap 40 right now of 70. Nick has moved on up. He's up there near the front. All right, let's see what we can do. We're going to have some fast cars behind us, for sure. Oh, I wanted to get, get in front of the 21, but it just did not happen. 21, oh, he got in there. Way too Good run on the 21 there, set it up just right. Another guy turned around. Here we are under caution again. You gotta give you gotta give guys room. You just gotta give guys room to be able to race and it not be a caution fest. You just gotta give room. You cannot take and take and take and take in every race. You just can't do it. So Lanier is a track that you know there's banking here, but it's not as much as you might think, and it is a track that you you want to trust the banking more than you really should, I feel. Again, this track was just down the road from me in Anderson, South Carolina, and you know, a lot of folks know, you know, mentioned Lanier and seeing a race at Lanier. I have not, sadly, ever seen a race at Lanier, but growing up in the upset of South Carolina, obviously Anderson Motor Speedway, Greenville Pickens Speedway, you've got Cherokee Speedway, Lanier and uh, what was uh, Peach State, which is now Gresham, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, those are kind of the speedways that are famed or renowned. Not a bad little restart. And we're 
we're actually on the inside now. Maybe we can move up. Look at look at Nick. Nick's moving up. Oh, the leader got loose. Nick to the lead. Oh, that's cool to see. And I'm getting punted. I think that was a good save by myself. Finally clear outside. Got a slow car down low. Oh, it's a 10. He gets back in here. Oh, we got people wrecking. My buddy Nick Kellogg leading the race. How about that, folks? He's a good racer I know in the drag racing no prep scene. You've got to check it out. I've got some videos from 585 Race Wars in western New York, town of Brockport, New York. It is a no prep drag race on an airport. It's actually on the taxiway. And he has won in their Street Beast class just about, if not every race they've had and we're talking about upward of six to seven events now so you can see some of that footage right here on monday morning racer by the way give me a like subscribe to the channel for content just like this for live racing action even plan on being at a track this very saturday lakeview motor speedway and film some dirt track racing the big block modified guys are coming out of actually New York and they're going to run in South Carolina. So here we go. We're back to the outside. Nick's leading. Let's see what kind of start we get. I don't know what happened underneath me. I'm just glad I did not get taken out. Holy crap, this is terrible. Caution fest. We're coming to 60, 63 laps completed and most of it has been under caution. Wow. And I have not wrecked anybody. I have not got near anybody. Everybody's been hitting me. I don't know what my incident count is up to, but wow, it's up there. It's got to be. So Nick, number 19, he's leading this thing. And folks, for me having no practice, messing up qualifying, excuse me, he's in second. I I'm pleased. Hopefully I don't get taken out with just a few laps we've got less left. That's that's my hope. Because it's five laps to go. Matter of fact... At this point, well, if we have a guy, caution again, it, it will probably it just itself. end under caution. I don't believe in iRacing they have it where there's green-white sure and checkered, at I'm least assuming, with the street stoppers. But, I mean, he drove into me, so I don't really, I don't really get it, but whatever. It's all your fault. One to go. Next time by, line up on the inside. We're on the inside with five laps to go, under five laps to go. That's, that's worked out. Nick right there in the 19. We're off. Two laps to go. Two, two, what are you doing? 
Oh, we're going to come away with a third place finish. Look like the 19. Nick, our buddy, is going to get second. All the way from the back to the front, finishing third. Nick finishing second from the back. That's pretty cool. We definitely got to look at a few highlights. I don't think I'm going to be able to look at all the incidents. They were pretty, there was going to be a lot. Caution fest for sure. So at the end of that race, in fact, I actually finished second. My buddy Nick maxed out on incident points and was disqualified. So I actually finished second in this race at Lanier. We're going to take a look at a few highlights from the race. The wrecking started early, as you can see right there on what effectively is lap two. Let's move ahead in the action right now. It's lap 21 of this 70 lap race. I'm on the outside here of the number 13. I want to get to the bottom, start working that low groove and keep moving forward. Well, that's not the case. The number eight, he bumps me, turns me around, and we both go for a little ride. Hardly any damage. The tires were not wrecked after this. Pick up the gears, keep rolling on to an eventual second place. Lap 62, we are nearing the end of this race, just restarted, and as you can see, I'm on the top. I'm gonna try to make my way to the front. The number one just goes into turn three, way too hot, catches me in the door. Glad I did not spin, but brings out another caution. We're gonna move forward and see the last few laps of this race where we're able to finish second in this Gearhead Coffee Street Stop. Green flag, lap 68, we will watch to the end of the race. And there it is, folks. Third place on the screen, but by Nick being disqualified, second place here at Lanier. Not bad for no practice, messing up qualifying, getting turned from the rear to a second place finish. Not bad at all in the Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker. Folks, thank you for watching the Monday Morning Racer. Check out what else is on the channel. Until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.